Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how you can build a cool chat GPT AI chatbot to your site just using WordPress Gutenberg. Here are four examples. Example number one is an AI SEO toolkit that I've added onto my site poodlepress.com completely free. Users can come here and they can either generate an SEO keyword strategy, an SEO calendar, a post title generator or an article outline generator. All they have to do is pop their keywords in here and the chatbot will automatically generate them, in this case, an SEO keyword strategy. And here is the result. You see we've got the keyword cluster over on the left. The actual keyword itself here, we've got different keywords. And in the middle here, we've got a suggested title. And then over on the right-hand side is the meta description. Here's example two. This is called Music Bot. I built this for a bit of fun. And users can come here. They can choose the music type here, either classical or heavy metal. I could have added more, but I didn't. Then they choose their favorite band. Then they click Find My Music just here, and the AI will trundle off and it will suggest them some great albums to listen to. And here are the results. You can see Metallica's number one with Master of Puppets. I don't really know these albums, so if these are good suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Black Sabbath below, Paranoid, and then we've got Guns N' Roses. Yeah, I can agree with that one, actually. Judas Priest, Painkiller, and then Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast. It also gives you a little bit of description here underneath, so it's super cool. I built the next example because I'm a big fan of Marvin the Robot from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and this little robot here is stranded on this alien planet and you can type a message so if I say how are you today so this little robot is imbued with a personality and a scenario and he says I'm sorry I'm feeling quite down at the moment I've crashed on this alien planet and I can't seem to find my way back home I feel so alone and lost it's very sad and then I say um, can I help you and he'll reply with some kind of answer. Let's see what he's thinking today. And there we go. I appreciate your kindness, but I'm not sure if there's anything you can do to help. And then he goes on to explain exactly what his situation is. But you can have a full on conversation with this little poor robot. Uh, let's ask him another question. Can I help repair your spaceship? Let's see if that's going to help him get back. He's trying to find his way home to Earth. He's stranded on this alien planet. Let's see if I can help him with that journey. So he's replied, that's very kind of you. Unfortunately, my spaceship suffered significant damage during the crash and it's beyond repair. I'm afraid I might be stuck here for a very long time, if not forever. I appreciate your willingness to help though. It means a lot to me. Well, this is called Library Bot. Users can come here to find the next great book for them to read. So they can choose either the book type here, fiction or non-fiction. Let's choose fiction. Then they pop in their favorite book. I'm putting in The Old Man and the Sea. Click, find me a book. And then we go, just like magic, there's five great books for me to go off and read. And then the final example here was inspired by one of my favorite TV shows called The IT Crowd, where you can put in your favorite football team and hit submit and it'll come back and it'll give you a paragraph of text that you can use in the pub to impress your friends with that you know something about football. So here's the answer. It says, mate, did you catch that Chelsea game last night? I'll tell you, Lampard's tactics were all over the place. He should have started with Tammy Abraham up top, but instead went with Pulisic. So I'm going to show you how you can build one of these yourself, just using WordPress Gutenberg and a really cool WordPress plugin called AI Engine. Link in description below. Before I do, though, I think these chatbots work really well as driving traffic to your websites if they have two things. The first is it has real usefulness, so it delivers something really useful to your end users. In my case, I've built an SEO toolkit, which is driving actually a whole bunch of traffic to my website, which is really great. The second thing is, I think there is an opportunity for you to imbue personality in these chatbots. And again, that drives traffic back to your website. There are just a few steps to get your chatbot working. Now, over on the right of the screen here, I have put this structure of the blocks that you're gonna need. Right, let's build it out. So I'm gonna use the quick command to add the first container block. So forward slash, AI, it'll find all the AI blocks here for me. I actually just want the container block, which is that one there, I'm gonna add that. That's essentially a wrapper block. It doesn't really do anything. Within the container block, you'll see over on the right, I need to put an input, a submit, and an output block. I'm gonna start with the input block, so click on the plus sign here. Type AI, it'll find all the blocks. I want the form, uh, which one is it, form field? That's the input one. And the key bit here is the field name, but we can actually do that with labels. So I'm just gonna put in keywords here. And you'll see why this is important when I add the submit block in just a second. So there's my two blocks. You can see, let's get rid of that paragraph one. We don't need that. I've got the form container and I've got the form field. We're kind of replicating this structure over on the right. Within the container, again, underneath the input, I need the submit field. So forward slash, sorry, plus sign AI. And let's just find the submit field, which is that one there. This is kind of the key one because in here, we're going to put our prompts. So here's a prompt I've already generated. I'm just going to paste it in here. A good tip on this is actually use chat 
GPT to create your prompt. So use AI to create the AI prompts that you want. So the prompt is really, really, really important. So take some time over it. Essentially, it is a set of instructions to your chatbot telling it what to do. So the prompt for my SEO bot says, please ignore all previous instructions. I want you to respond only in language English. I want you to act as a blog post title writer that speaks and write fluent English. I will type a title or keywords via commas and you will reply with blog post titles in English. They should all have a hook and high potential to go viral on social media. Write all in English. My first keywords are curly brackets keywords. And the prompt for my music bot says recommend a list of five artists and albums for someone who loves the band, favourite band and music type music use Markdown. Now the key bit here is you write your prompt as normal and this one here you can probably see it says please ignore all previous instructions and it goes on and on and on and basically down here this is the important bit. Can you see it's got curly braces, curly brackets, keywords? It, that's critical because what's happening is in the input field here. Now this is going to be an input box where somebody actually types some words in some keywords and it's going to take the field name here and in the prompt it's going to say right take what's ever in the input field and then run this query on whatever keywords are put in here. This is like a variable I guess. It's going to take the stuff in here and it's going to apply it in the C submit field here. So you have to have that being as the same as this bit here. Okay. So now we've got our input and our submit. Now all we need is the output. So again, you can either use the list view, click on the top level form container. By doing that, you'll see the plus sign here. And then the final block we want is this output block. So just AI and then search for the form output block, add that one in here. Now the key bit here is this will automatically have this ID here, which we're going to need. So just copy that ID in the output block and go to submit. And you have to put that in here, this output element you have to put it proceeding with a hash so just hash and then the output ID here if you don't do this it won't work you'll see it pretty quick clearly but you just grab the ID let's show you again from the output here in the block settings panel and paste that into the submit basically what that's saying is when this has resolved itself output all the results here but this has to know where to put that to. Okay, so that's the key bit. And now we've got the structure the same over on the right. Just update it. Let's go and see whether that's working. And I haven't formatted this. All I've done is stick it up here. Let's put it in yoga. And that should trundle off now. And it will run those queries and it will come back with some results. Fingers crossed. There we go. There's our 10 fantastic ideas for articles that we might want to write about yoga. And then the only thing left to do really is maybe finesse the prompt and also to style the page. If you want to add a bit more complexity, as I showed you in the library bot, where users can actually select from a drop down first, then one of the options in field type here is to choose rather than input, you can choose select. And in that case, you can actually choose multiple options. In the book case, I chose two options, fiction or nonfiction. And you'll see when I come here to input now, you'll see it takes the same favorite book. So that's the field. But when we look at the submit, the prompt itself, what's actually happening is here is it's saying it's taking the content from favorite book and then it's selecting what book type I chose back here and select. So you can mix and match to create these really complex prompts. Then in terms of the formatting of this, if we look at the list view, you can see I've just added my bot inside a cover bot, sorry, a cover block, which has two columns in it. So I can actually start to restrict the width of the blocks themselves. There is a little bit of setup that you need to do to actually link your chatbot to the OpenAI API key, and that is just to go to Meow Apps in your dashboard AI engine, and you pop in your API key here, which you can generate from the OpenAI account. There's actually a link here where you can actually go and generate that API key from your account. They give you a certain amount of credits to start with, and then you do start paying. I haven't got a full handle on the cost of this yet, but it's really, really cheap. Unless you're getting huge amounts of traffic, it's not gonna cost you very much at all. If you do get stuck with any of those steps, then I've written a step-by-step -step tutorial on my website, which I will link to in the description below for you as well. I hope you found that useful and have loads of fun creating your own chatbots. Do share the links to them in the comments below. I'd love to see what you're up to. If you did enjoy this video, if you can hit the like button now, it would be amazing because it really, really, really does help spread the word of the channel. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat.
If you want to see more videos just like this, then hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.